Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I have a first impressions video for you. This is a new release. It's the newest flanker from the very, very popular fragrance from the House of Guerlain, Mont Guerlain. And this is called Mont Guerlain Bloom of Rose. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. Pretty much exactly the same as the other Mont Guerlain fragrances, except this just has a nice uh, rosy pinkish color uh, at the neck here of the bottle. So it is a pretty bottle design. I really do, and I do like it a lot. I will say uh, before I tell you guys my thoughts on this that I am allergic to the original Bon Guerlain. <laughs> I think it smells really, really nice. It's a very nice, soft, vanilla, lavender thing. You guys probably already know, uh, but for me, it, it's just <laughs> my skin reacts to it. So I can't wear it. Luckily, I have worn this a few times before doing this video, obviously. And luckily, I don't get an allergic reaction to this one. So. Uh, I'm not sure what they've changed in it, but luckily for me, I can wear this if I want to. So, as I said, I've worn this a few times already, uh, so it's kind of like a first impressions, in between a first impressions and a review, more towards the first impressions. But anyways, I'll uh, tell you guys my thoughts on this one. Let me just get it on my skin here. Make sure I don't have anything here. No, that one's clear. Okay, so Mont Guerlain Bloom of Rose, the 100th flanker <laughs> of Mont Guerlain. Okay. Okay. On my skin, the first thing I get is that alcohol explosion. <laughs> you know, some fragrances, like as soon as you spray it on, you just smell alcohol and nothing else. That's what I get for the first few seconds of this on my skin. It's like a sharp, stingy alcohol smell that for me, right away, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> I always like, oh no, why does it have to start like that? Because usually when fragrances start off that way, uh, um, they don't really work on my skin after that. So when I smell this, uh, this sharp alcohol smell and I don't get any lavender at all and of course I'm comparing in my mind with the original um, Mont Guerlain it's mostly like a lavender vanilla on me it's not a lavender vanilla to me right after that alcohol blast I get like a sharp uh, tangy citrus that's quite creamy and it's a nice smell Along with that sharp, uh, bright blast of citrus, I do get a very uh, noticeable floral smell. So it's like a creamy citrus and a floral smell, or a floral, a creamy floral and a zesty citrus, one of the two. It alternates on my skin. But anyways, after like a few minutes on my skin, you guys, uh, Things kind of turn for the worse on me, on my skin. The floral smell gets really, it turns really weird on my skin. It starts smelling like a metallic glue on me, uh, very chemically smelling, which is really unusual because when I spray it, when I tested it on the paper, I don't get that metallic-y, gluey smell. It's only on my skin that I get that. So I'd imagine this fragrance to smell a lot different on your skin rather than on your clothing. So yes, on the paper, it's much different than on my skin. But let's talk about this on my skin. <laughs> it, it turns into a very chemical smell on me that is just not pleasing, not at all. It's almost as if they took this beautiful bouquet of mixed floral fl florals or flowers and then pouring some like screechy harsh chemical on top of it. It's just very awkward. I don't know why I don't know why it turns like that on my skin. And actually I have this 
uh, this certain smell happen on my skin with a lot of uh, women's new release designer fragrances so maybe it's just me I'm not really sure but after as this fragrance dries down it does like this musky thing comes in on my skin on top of this chemical floral citrus smell um, it says bloom of rose but I don't really detect specifically the rose notes in here I do smell a floral bouquet but it smells like a chemical floral, um, if that makes sense. So, so basically it's chemical floral and this screechy harsh musk on my skin. And it pretty much stays that way on my skin, unfortunately. So yeah, you guys, it's, uh, to me, this fragrance is really not one that I would enjoy wearing. It doesn't work on my skin basically. It might work on yours. Maybe you've had some success wearing the other flankers from this line, but I didn't really uh, have made a review of the Floral version or one of the versions. I can link down in there which reviews that I've done also on my other channel with Andrew Oda Cupcakes on the flankers of this. But yeah, it's to me, it just does not, it's not my thing. It's not great on my skin at all it's quite forgettable it feels like this fragrance was made in a rush or it feels like this fragrance was like released as a mistake because there is not a lot of originality here and I hate I don't like to be sounding so like negative about it but really it's just very very disappointing and it just feels like it's another yet another lazy release from the house of Guerlain so the standards of what they should be this company should be like a releasing especially with their history um it's just it feels like their standards have been down going downhill with what they're releasing like a lot of the things from this house lately have just been really forgettable and it's really sad you know it really is anyways what else can I say about this fragrance yeah <laughs> that's not that's all I can say it's just like a musky metallic uh, chemically smelling floral it's quite dry as well it's quite pungent the best part of this fragrance is the opening with that bright citrus um, with this uh, creamy citrus floral thing if it would have stayed that way throughout the entire fragrance I would be okay with it it would be cool with me if it stayed that way but no it doesn't <laughs> the dry down here is just really terrible on me and I'm very not impressed by this fragrance and I am very curious uh, about what you guys think if you've tried this fragrance or what you think about the other flankers of Mont Guerlain. Um, if I were to cho I choose, sorry, <laughs> if I were to choose between the original Mont Guerlain, which does not work on me, and the other flankers in this series of this line, Mont Guerlain, I think the original is definitely the best, like by far. It's like not even remotely close not even close. Um, I do think that the Mongorlan, the original Mongorlan does smell very, very similar to Mon Exclusif. I wish I still had my sample of Mon Exclusif. That is that bottle in that bow-shaped bottle. I think they discontinued that and there has been like an argument about whether they're the same fragrance. Unfortunately, my sample evaporated with a long, long time ago. I have reviewed that one too, the Mon Exclusive. I can review, uh, link that for you guys as well. But um, yeah, stick with the original. You can test this one if you want. I'm curious what you guys think of it, but it just feels like to me, it's just been a very rushed release with not a lot of thought put into it. Uh, and it's just pretty much just a cash, a cash grab for the people out there. So those were, unfortunately, my quick thoughts, first impressions on Mont Guerlain, Bloom of Rose. 
Again, if you guys want to share your opinion about it, please do. Let me see what it says in here. A bright and joyful eau de toilette, like a floral bouquet of lavender, sandback, jasmine, orange blossom, and rose. Oh no, right now it's in that chemical, synthetic, floral stage. Slash musk. Ah! <laughs> okay guys, so anyways, I hope you appreciate the review, even though it wasn't a positive one for you. Uh, I just, you know, have to always tell how I feel, whether it's good or bad. And I know that some of you don't enjoy the negative, negative reviews, but I think it's also a negative thing to not be completely honest about your thoughts about certain fragrances. Uh, not that other people aren't completely honest, but you know what I mean. I got to keep myself, uh, you know. I don't know what, the, what I'm, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> but anyways, that was my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back with more soon. See ya. Bye bye.